Okay, yeah, started recording. Huh? Hey, hi guys. Uh, today we are looking at 5.2, uh, which is uh, which is what? Uh? Uh, phyto hormones. Okay, phyto hormones. So let's get right into it. Uh. Okay, so 5.2, uh, kita kena tengok phyto hormone. Guys, what are phyto hormones? Um, essentially, like human, kita ada hormone kan? We have uh, hormones. I nearly said we have humans. Okay, we have hormones. Plants, uh, tumbuhan mereka ada hormone juga. Okay, so there are five types of hormones that you have to know. Lima jenis hormone yang anda mesti fasi. So, the first, the very first one is called auxin. Number two, gibberellin. Guys, when you spell gibberellin, please make sure you include double B, double L. Okay? Then there's italin, dalam BM italina, cytokinin, dalam BM cytokinin, dan akhir sekali, abscisic acid, dalam BM acid abscisic. So these are the five types of hormones that you must know. And definitely, auxin is the main, main hormone that we are looking at, okay? That we are looking at. Huh? Now, auxin, there are a series of, uh, I mean, not series, there are a number of functions. Terdapat, terdapat uh, beberapa fungsi yang anda mesti tahu. Huh? So, let me go through the main few functions. Number one, they carry out phototropism meaning response of plant towards the light, phototropisme. Yang kedua, okay, mereka menjalankan pemanjangan sel. They carry out cell elongation, guys. They carry out cell elongation. They cause the roots to grow. Menyebabkan pertumbuhan akar, growth of roots. And something that I would say is quite new to all of you, we call this patinokapi, guys. Patinokapi. Okay, not gapi, eh? Eh, not gapi fish. Eh? So, patinokapi. I always ask my students this, what grapes do you like? And when I ask this question, all funny answers pop up. I don't know what, what uh, that day someone told me, don't know what, uh, what shape they mentioned, huh? What diagonal? Ah? Diagonal also come out. Guys, diagonal is for diamond one. I don't know how it came out in the grid. Must be living in some funny Bangla country. Ah? Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> okay. Now, um, so when I ask the question, what grapes do you like? I I am expecting seedless grapes, lah, you know, but the common answer I get is green. Uh, red, lah. got red, right? Got red, yeah, yeah, got red grapes. Anggo mera, anggo, anggo. Ungu, all right. So, patinokapi here refers to refers to production of seedless fruits. Okay, buah uh, tanpa biji benih, buah tanpa biji lah. So the best example is always seedless grapes. All right. Now, why why is it as such? You see, you learn in, okay, I'll use orange color. You learn in PT3 science dulu eh, that the pollen, oops, that the pollen will fertilize the embryo sac. The, fertil, the, the, the pollen eh, will, will fertilize, actually it will penetrate, lah. it will penetrate embryo sac. Then the male, the male, uh, nucleus will fertilize okay the embryo sac then from there we get fruits with seeds okay now what you need to know to explain this patino copy okay uh, oh this one okay what you need to know to explain patino copy uh, is that okay, I'll use a darker blue? I'll use a darker blue. All right, now uh, is that it doesn't undergo fertilization, and therefore, all you need to 
uh, say is that the unfertilized the unfertilized ovary will develop to form the seedless fruits okay the unfertilized ovary will develop to form the seedless fruits the purpose i use orange color is so that you can forget about it okay you can forget about it now lah tapi bila kita masuk bab 6 memang kita perlu belajar balik ini bab 6 not now keep things for later don't confuse life a life pula don't confuse things okay all right so these are the few main functions of auxin um, uh, beberapa fungsi utama bagi auxin uh, hari ini kita nak fokus lebih kepada fototropisme dan juga geotropisme. So, mari kita tengok apabila oksin dihasilkan, katakan saya guna warna merah untuk menunjukkan oksin, I use something bright red lah. Uh, this app is really good uh, if if you know good notes lah. Uh, good as in many colors, but you can't see. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they, okay, anyway. So, if I were to use red color to show oksin, uh, so, so many oksin Oxin akan dihasilkan di zone Mary stem. Guys, we call this the meristematic zone. But listen carefully, they do not elongate here. All right? They do not carry out cell elongation here. No. They carry out cell elongation when the oxygen move down to this part, the next part automatically we call it elongation zone. Zone pemanjangan. Zone pemanjangan. Okay, just a very quick recap. Huh? Uh, this is a very cool feature, man. Guys, I tell you this is a very cool feature. Okay, so the the uh, oxygen is produced in meristematic zone, but no elongation. Huh? They have to move down here. Ah, you see guys, see the bright red glowing thingy? <laughs> okay, so they will elongate here. Pemanjangan akan berlaku di sini. Dan bukan zone meristem. Okay. Clear? All right. Uh. Okay, sure. Uh. Clear? Uh. Okay. So, um, after you know that they are produced in meristematic zone, move down to elongation zone to carry out cell elongation, kita kena tengok beberapa case. Kita kena tengok beberapa case. Okay, now let's start. Uh, oh guys, the color here, the number of colors, I tell you, wow, it's so fun with the colors. Okay, now I sound a bit drunk. Eh? Okay, so I'm going to use green eh, this time. Eh? Alright, so let's say, uh, let's say, okay, katakan, 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 uh, pucuk ini, bagian pucuk ini, jikalau terdapat cahaya, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to put my red, okay, jikalau terdapat cahaya matahari yang datang dari bahagian kanan, okay, so the oxina, guys, I'm going to read, retain the same color warna yang sama bagi oksin okay what will happen what will happen is the oxin okay this is going to be very sexy sir huh? um <laughs> oxin i i this is how i teach my students uh imagine a girl imagine a girl oops imagine a girl Okay, why I mention girl is because I think girls don't quite like sunlight. Okay, uh, maybe not you lah. Maybe you love sunlight. So I like to be under the sun. I don't know why I'm very attracted to sunlight. It's like I undergo, don't know what, what phototropism. I don't know. Okay, but I would say quite a number of girls don't quite like sunlight. But actually, even boys nowadays, some don't like sunlight lah. You know, you watch too much Korean K-drama. Anyway, 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 let's go going too far. We're going too far. After that, I'll start talking about Vincenzo and Sisyphus. Huh? Okay, anyway. So, 
the you have to imagine what what will the girl do if the light come from the right okay the girl will move to the left correct the girl will okay the girl will move towards the left side let's say the girl is inside lah huh? sama juga oxin akan bergerak ke bahagian kiri uh, mungkin bukan ke semua lah not all lah guys sama uh, sorry majority kebanyakan akan bergerak ke bahagian kiri sebab mereka tak suka sebab mereka tak suka cahaya matahari so what will then happen is i think this is not such a nice color i'm going to replace this with black okay now what will happen is when the oxygen move down to guys revision revision eh ulang kaji ya what apa apa zone ini eh apa zone ini ini ialah zone pemanjangan sel this is called elongation zone when they reach elongation zone tada guys this is where they will carry out their cell elongation the left side will elongate more than the right side sebab bahagian kiri lebih oksin if you didn't catch it one more time huh? guys the left side will elongate more as compared to the right side okay why because more oxygen on the left side mah guys more oxygen on the left side so therefore how does it bend it will bend to the right side and and with that that is why and that is why the plant will bend towards the sunlight okay this is uh, what you call it uh this is why this is why okay So how come you never touched on phototropism just now as the first point? This is where I teach you lah, guys. The growing towards sunlight is phototropism. You see how closely related they are. This this phototropism to cell elongation because of the oxygen carrying out permanjangan cell. Sebab itu pucuk boleh ber tumbuh ke arah cahaya uh, matahari. Alright. Okay, I'm going to give you another two three examples see how you see how you see how you take it ah. Uh. See how you take it ah. Uh. Okay, now. I tell you guys, I'm really enjoying the color. Okay, now. So, let's see another one here. Let's see lah. Mm, what? Let's see Okay, I start off with something simple. Let's see sunlight on the left side what will happen? the oxygen move towards the right okay the shaded region when you explain you say the shaded region uh, i i write here shaded region kawasan uh yang gelap ataupun or oh, berteduh no cannot be berteduh lah shaded region lah okay kawasan gelap then more on the right side more elongate on the right compared to the left when they move down to elongation zone this will bend towards the sunlight okay all right guys case pertama case kedua let's say i put a metal plate a metal plate i put here i put halfway lah okay let me just rub a little bit ah I'm rubbing the whole thing. Okay, again, ah. Uh. Let's say this one here. I put a metal plate sampai sini. What will happen? Okay. Where will it bend? So what happens is the oxygen produced here, when they move down, only the right side can elongate down. Therefore, here lah, you got oxygen. So the right side will elongate, the left side can't really elongate. It still bend towards the left hand side. Okay, why? Because blocking man, guys, blocking man plus elongate plus meristem zone cannot carry out elongation. One remember, okay, this this uh meristematic zone uh, cannot carry out elongation. All right, okay, another case. Let's see lah. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. I put a metal plate. Let's see, I put a metal plate here. A metal plate. A metal plate right in the middle. Then got sunlight on the right hand side. So what will happen? Will it bend to the left? To the right? Guys, will it bend to the left or to the right? Adakah jawapan? Adakah jawapan A ataupun B? Answer is C. <laughs> Answer is C. C means what? It grows upwards. Yeah, guys, it will grow upwards because when I put a metal plate in the middle, it will block the oxygen from moving. Lah. So, walaupun cahaya datang dari kanan, the, the movement is being blocked. Tak boleh bergerak lagi. They will move down to elongation zone as usual. And here cannot move left or right anymore. And here they will carry out cell elongation. And therefore it will grow up. Okay? Because the metal plate is blocking. Now, okay, sekali, eh, the last case. Ah. Let's see this. Uh, let's see this, this tip here. I use... Uh, I use something to cut it off. Lah. Okay, I cut off the tip. Means no tip anymore. Lah. Uh, my, the boys in my class like to say, ouch. I don't know what they mean. Maybe you also do not, do not know what they mean, right? Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, when, when cut the tip, lah, what will happen? The answer is, cannot grow anymore. Cannot grow anymore. Without oxygen, there is no cell elongation. Okay? Right, yeah. So guys, this is uh oxine and this is phototropism. All right, okay. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, cheers.